So the things you're going to need are your color palette. Make sure you've got that steady. I'm going to go right in and work on the background color here because it's a little bit on the boring side for me. So let's jazz this up a little bit. I really want it to feel like the Maker Station. So I've chosen a cream color that I think is going to work really well. So always have these lined up. Just put it in a notepad and then label them so you, you know what these colors are. So I've just labeled this. This is a hex color that I grabbed out of Canva. Very easy to do. Just copy and paste that. And there you go. Wow. Already makes a huge difference. Now I want to change the menu colors. I've got a dark green. I've got a sage green. I've got a burgundy. And I've got the cream color. So those four colors I'm going to put into good use here. And just play around a little bit. Um, the background I want as like my dark green for the menu. So once I have that in, it's there. I'm going to change the text. I'm going to play with just the white and I'm discovering that the bright, bright white is just a little too strong. So I'm going to put my cream color there. It's very subtle, but the details really matter. Once I put the cream in, yeah, I'm so much happier with that. And now I want to look at the drop down menu colors and change that. I'm going to use my light sage green for that color. And then the text, I'm going to use my dark green for that color and see if it shows up. The white, the cream would work out, but let me just see. I just want it to be dramatic enough so that people can really tell a difference between those. So I'm going to add my dark green to the drop down menus. And then I'm also going to change these. And yeah, I'm liking that. I think the dark text color works for those drop downs. And then there is a selection here for the nav bar for the dividers. It's they've got like a putty color. So I'm just going to replace that with my cream color and put that into play. So I'm pretty happy with how my menu's looking, but I want to pizzazz it up a little bit. So I'm going to animate this menu bar. You can choose all kinds of animations. It's the little video button on the menu. And man, you can make it a uh, slide in. You can have it spin, which is really kind of fun. I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with the spinning or not. Maybe that's a little too much for the maker station. But yeah, just go in here and play around. There are some really great ideas in here for you. And now it's time to change the header color. So you just tap on the top here and I'm going to try my burgundy and see if I like that. Um, so I'll just put that in for my background. I can try the sage green. I can try my darker green color and see if that makes a difference. So yeah, go ahead and play around in here. And there's another way to add interest. Check out your layers first. You'll see these blue buttons that light up here. So that's telling you where you are in the website and where you can find layers is this button here. And each of your layers has been named. And if you click on the eyeball, it will make them disappear. So if you want to know where you are, click the eyeball and it tells you what section you're actually working on. So that is a really helpful tip so that you don't get lost in here and label all of these. So it's meaningful to you. And this is already pre-labeled for you in the, uh, master P, the master um, template. And now if you want to expand pictures, there's a double headed arrow on the right hand side of this picture. I tried that earlier and it just cut everybody's heads off. And I'm just going to slowly expand this picture. It depends on the picture that you choose. Um, that's about as far as I can expand it. Now, I still am not happy with the header and the navigation bar. So I'm going to use something called a shape divider. You can tap on the uh, the hamburger menu and then it looks like waves in the middle. So I'm just going to choose waves and you can see how dramatic that is. I can choose whether they're on the top or the bottom. I'm going to choose the top and I can change the color, of course. So I might use my sage green up here or my red is way too strong. Sage is much softer, much better. And I can just play around in here a little bit with uh, moving toggles around to change the different shape depending upon what you like for your particular plan. So there's lots of different shapes that you can play with in here. If you hit this drop down, you can see there's different um, circles and there's 
all, all kinds of different things you can do. Um, triangles are in here as well. One of the ones that I think I'm going to use for my company is the arrow. Uh, yeah, you can tilt too, but the arrow was the one that I really, really liked because it's subtle enough, but it's also interesting. And you can adjust it by moving the slides. You also want to adjust for different screen sizes in here. So while I'm happy with it here, I'm looking at the other screen sizes and I'm saying, whoops, I got to really move that over. And how do I do that? Well, using these different toggles will make it move in a different direction. So that's pretty close. It's not quite what I want to do. As I go through here in my different sizes, I'm going to uncover how exactly I can move that triangle. So whoops, that's a little too long. I'm going to tap again, make an adjustment, hit the shape divider, and going to use that toggle button so that I can adjust for the height because that's a little too uh, a little too long. Now I made it too short. There we go. Just right. A little Goldilocks action here. And again, I'm going to hit the, the shape divider, which is over on the far right shape divider there and then I'm going to adjust the height of that arrow so that it's it's going to fit for a mobile device and then I make a discovery and I see that this toggle can move it to the left a little more so I'm pretty happy with my discovery there I'm going to test this and I'm going to go back to the main page you never want to make adjustments on your mobile first. It's always, always the desktop, the adjustments made first, and then work your way down. So I'm going to notice that this page really needs a little more attention. So I'm going to tap on that black button, the shape divider. I'm going to use that toggle I just discovered, and I'm going to move that over to the left. So that I'm pretty happy with. The other part I'm not crazy about is this big gap between where my hero headline is and my results checkboxes. So what I want to do is go into settings. I know the normal instinct is to go in and click and drag it. You can't in this program, but I go into gap and I choose the alignment button there and I'm able to slide it up that way. So just wanted to show you that feature. So I'm just going to uh, change the color on the hamburger because it's driving me nuts. So I want to go in and I'm just simply going to choose the color palette and I'm going to make that my burgundy color. So that works really well. I'm going to double check on my mobile and make sure that that hamburger looks pretty good and it does. So let me just look at the whole smash and make sure that I've got everything the way that I want it. And yeah, so far so good. I'm pretty happy with the way this is coming out.